For this trick, guys, you are going to need a pack of playing cards, and you're going to need a pair of dice as well, okay? Now, sometimes, as magicians, when we start doing card tricks where we shuffle the cards, a lot of times people don't trust us. Uh, because they think that we're doing some kind of uh, tricky false shuffle or something crazy like that. So, just to keep everything fair and on the up and up, we're going to allow the spectators to shuffle the cards in this effect. So they're going to mix them up just so we can verify that the deck is not in any particular stacked order. All right? So, audience participation is a must for this effect here. We're going to give all these cards a mix. So the spectators are going to shuffle like so. Just bear with me for a second here as we get everything mixed up. Excellent. So the cards in the deck is completely and utterly shuffled. Now just to make things even a little bit more chaotic, let's go ahead and give the cards a perfect casino style shuffle where we get as precise as we possibly can be. So you can see this is a great shuffle. There's not a single card that's left next to a card that it was before earlier. Everything is completely mixed and fair. Now you have to admit, after all that shuffling by the spectators and the casino shuffle, that deck is thoroughly mixed, okay? Now, we need the spectator to create a two-digit number less than 50, um, so we're going to use the dice. We'll take the third roll to get our number. So here it is a three and a six. We couldn't use 63 because there's not 63 cards, but we could use the 36, okay? Give them another roll. Here we've got uh, 62 or 26. Third one's gonna be live. This is gonna be the roll we're actually gonna keep. So here we've got a 22, right? Two and two is 22. They have no other option there. That's the only, only one they could use. All right, now, imagine if you will that I remove half the cards from the deck. Which half did I remove? The red cards or the black cards? And let's say they go with the red cards. So I'm going to take the red cards and I'm going to divide them into two suits, the hearts and the diamonds. If I toss one onto the table, which ones did I throw on the table? The hearts? Okay, imagine that they land in perfect order, ace to king. Now we've got number cards, ace to ten, and we've got picture cards, the jack, the queen, and the king. Which do you want to eliminate first, the numbers or the pictures? The number cards? Okay, the number cards will eliminate. Now we're left with just the jack, the queen, and the king. I'm going to take those cards, I'm going to mix them up, and oops, I dropped one. Which one did I drop on the table? The queen of hearts? The queen of hearts I just dropped on the table. So think about this. From a pack of 52 imaginary playing cards, okay, using the power of your mind and your imagination, we now have one playing card on the table, and it's the queen of hearts. Okay, from 52. You rolled any number, and you rolled the number 22. All right, remember, we shuffled the deck. You shuffled the deck, I shuffled the deck, but the deck has been thoroughly mixed up. We're going to count down to the 22nd card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and that's number 22. If you went further, we could, would have landed on a card that's completely different, okay? Your mind created one random card, and it was the Queen of Hearts at 22. Let's see how we did it. And there it is, guys. The Queen of Hearts at number 22. And that is a card and a number effect. Until next time, guys. Take care.